A slate, B slate. I'm Robert Longo and I try to be an artist. <laughs> it's really difficult to pick my favorite work. I mean, I, I particularly like the film stills because I have a personal connection to it. Cindy and I lived together for about seven years and uh, I would help her take photographs of her work and she would model for me from my drawings. And we moved down to from Buffalo to New York and I had a Volkswagen van at the time. The first group of photographs she was taking was usually in our loft. And then she had this idea about wanting to go out, take it outside. We had curtains on the van. It was like a hippie van. And we'd drive to locations and she would change in the back and then come out of the, the, the van a different character. And this one I think was one of the last ones of the day. We used to go on a regular basis to go see films at the Bleecker Street Cinema and the Garnegie Cinema. And we saw a bunch of Godard films and Truffaut and blah, blah, blah. When she got out of the car, with this outfit on, I mean, it was like, I, I, you know, I jokingly said, are you a dar Visconti? What is, what is it? But it was kind of funny. I, so I shot this photograph from the roof of the car, of the van, looking down, and it looks like it's the end of a movie. You know, like credits should roll in. Like her lover has driven off the pier and di died, and she's, you know, she's walking away because she, he cheated on her or whatever. What, What's so great about her pictures is they're, they're, not so, they're not so much about what you look at, but they're also about what happened before and what happens after. And um, I think when she made this print, is also quite beautiful, is that she, put, she, uh, she highlighted her eyes in the, in the photograph, which is really kind of cool. Cindy's work wasn't getting attention in the beginning. It was being accused of being photographs, which was so moronic, because she's so much an artist before she's a photographer. And the way that she constructs her appearances is like a painter and she constructs the images in that sense. So the makeup that she would put on herself was clearly made to render an image in the, in the photographic state and not in real life. Do you know what I mean? So it would always be quite hideous sometimes. She looked pretty weird sometimes. <laughs> She's been able to present a picture where it actually has a soul. When you see fashion models and stuff like that, they are people putting on clothes and they're posing and stuff like that, like a guy on the boat. But you don't believe that that guy even owns the boat or even knows what a boat is. When you see pic Cindy, picture of Cindy, you believe that person in that picture. And it's very difficult to make anything new. So one would hope that you can make something that's real. And I think that she's achieved that from the very beginning. Most artists in the beginning establish a vocabulary, the footprint or the map of where you then go the rest of your career. Really great artists tend to be somewhat single-minded. You know, it's uh, so if you look at Cindy's early pictures, you'll see the the basic roots of everything that has come afterwards. And if anything, it's maybe the, that those film stills are the template for the future investigations, because you can actually look at the film stills and then track different series out of the film stills, you know what I mean? The fact that her work it affects women and men equally is why it, it's here in this museum. You know, you can fashion the truth or you can tell the truth, you know, and her stuff tells the truth.